Well, tonight's Get In The Zone sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Matt's Heating and Cooling, get your home in the zone. And in the zone with me tonight, Evan Skilleter called the Bath Elida game tonight. That one got off to a, a quick start, kind of lulled in the middle, and then Elida just seemed to take off. What, what was the difference? Yeah, so you showed the highlights at the beginning. Two great plays to start this game, and we were sitting in the box thinking we're going to have a shootout, right? 42 to 41, something along those lines. And yeah, no score in the second quarter. Uh, and then finally, Elida, they shifted their game plan completely. Uh, they only ran the ball twice in the first half, and they only threw the ball twice in the second half. Uh, so 11 rushing yards in the first half to like 110, 115, or something like that. They controlled the line of scrimmage well. Uh, they controlled time of possession by keeping the ball on the ground, and they just kept pounding. And uh, turnovers really hurt Bath as well. They have four turnovers there in the second half, which was tough. You know, every once in a while we talk about momentum and how important momentum is when it comes to these games. And it seemed, you know, Bath just had that, that amazing 80-yard touchdown pass to get it rolling. And it seemed like, at least for those of us that are listening, and maybe this was, we'll see if this was for you calling the game, after that Nick Nebel interception, after that pick six, it, it seemed like that that may have deflated uh, the, the Wildcats a little bit. And then Elida eventually, once we got into the second half, just seemed to take over. Did, did it switch at all once we saw that play? It switched a little bit. Uh, I, I think it certainly helped Elida feel a little more comfortable with uh, with the way they were playing, right? Bath, that's 80-yard touchdown pass is, is tough to give up for a defense, right? So yeah, the pick six was big. Uh, did it shift momentum? Maybe not, because there was no score in the second quarter. Um, but they certainly played with some confidence. And, and like I said, at halftime, they must have switched their game plan completely because they came out, they kept the ball on the ground, they pounded, they pounded. And you got to give it up too to, to, Jay, or to Etzcorn, excuse me, Andrew Etzcorn. He only had 11 rushing yards or 23 rushing yards in the first half. He finished the game with 105 rushing yards. So big second half for him uh, and just a big game overall for Elida. And that's a big win and a big rivalry. Solid effort for them. And, you know, it's good to see Elida obviously coming back. Bath having a solid, you know, Elida seems like maybe the turnaround. I don't know if it's happening quicker than maybe Kyle Harmon is anticipating. Yeah. But a big win against OG and now a convincing win against Bath. You got to think maybe they can keep this going and, and really make some noise in the WBL this year. They look good. They have a great young quarterback uh, in Henderson and a great offensive line. If they can continue to, to keep the offensive line or to win the offensive line in the time of possession, then uh, yeah, I, I think they, they could have a really good year. I mean, time of possession and controlling that line of scrimmage are two very, very big things, especially in a really tough physical WBL uh, where you see guys, huge guys, um, and, and up front for Elida. Yeah, they have some, some really good talent. So absolutely, I think they're turning the corner. They have some young players that are really good and uh, bright future for them. Having some earth movers there at the front certainly helps out. Yeah, Makes the coach really look a does. lot smarter when you try yeah. and design run and play action and things like that. So Bath and Elida will have that one for you tonight at 11. And Evan Skilleter with the call on that one. So stay up and check out a great Elida victory over Bath tonight. Uh, Evan Skilleter, thanks for joining us. And, yeah, and thanks for get some me. rest. You've been doing a lot today. Yeah, sure thing. Thanks. <laughs> this has been the Get in the Zone with Matt's Heating and Cooling. Call mattsheating.com is the website to go to for your heating and cooling needs.